YTTC. What is up? So, it's been a while since I just done a regular video. Smoking Savinelli naked. I got this from Eric the Blue Collar Piper. If I remember right. Anyway, I'm using B. Daniel Pipecraft. Tamper. Smoking some Rut Rays Marlin Flake. So, this video. Having a bit of a dilemma. So, is it better to age in block form with what I'm pressing? I mean, it's got almost a year on it. Certain get flume, sugar crystals, whatever the hell you want to call it. So, it's doing something in there. It's only on the edges. You grab it, you cut it, you might get one flake. It's like that. Same age, same blend. Both sides. Does that make a difference? So this is literally just the cutoffs from doing the, making it nice and pretty and square. Does it make a difference? Is this jar aging at a different rate than this jar? Let's see here, do, do, do. Same with, got kind of almost the opposite going here. This is nine months. Just starting to get a little bit of frost on it. This is the 6B Virginia. The trimming's off. 6B Virginia. There ain't nothing happening in there. It's just tobacco. It handled exactly the same way. There's a difference. Why, I don't know. I haven't opened this in a long time. This is the Mad Modern Twist. Absolutely nothing going on. So, that's my question, YTPC. What do you think? Should I just go through and cut everything up? Flake it all out? Store it that way? Or should I leave it in blocks? Should I do half of it? See what happens? Half and half? Got a good seal to it. This one I know is well over a year. Absolutely nothing going on. Visible. Smells fantastic. Why are some doing it? Some aren't. Granted, I know different tobaccos age different rates. And why are mine pluming up? This is the vapor. So very quickly. It's not even a year old yet. I 
don't think I've opened this in probably nine months. See if we can hear this. Oh wow. There we go. Oh, it smells amazing. Definitely falling apart. Little bricks are. But come on, focus. Using my laptop, so I don't know if I can get it to focus how I want it to or not. But it's not going all the way through. So does that affect anything? Is that why most places sell it in flake, not plug? Does it age more evenly? Let's give it a cut. Let's see what the inside of this looks like. Doing this on my laptop, so sorry you're not going to be able to see the cut. Try to set it up. Another video. Show the tobacco cutter at work. Nice thin ribbon on. Still doesn't. This thing's not cutting quite like I was hoping it would. That's for sure. But. Bring that light down in here a little bit closer. Cut side, not cut side. So, does that make a difference? Yes, no, maybe so. That one I might just cut up because it's all turning into broken plate or broken plugs at this point. But I'm gonna stand up. Damn camera at. So, broken flake. Throw that tobacco tray. Smoke that later. Come on, focus. It's different. So that's my dilemma. What should I do, YTPC? I'm kind of leaning towards go through and cut everything up. Let it age in flake. Just some water. Um, that's all I got for now. There will be a blending video shortly. I'm thinking on recreating this. Light a key of flake number nine. Because I really like it. But. Oh, this is one of the new ones. This has Cyprian Latakia versus Syrian. Oh well. <laughs> well, it tasted a little different. But other than that, I'm trying to get ready for winter. Got my dogs. Winter's getting closer. I know it's already hit some folks. Lower 48 northern states, Montana mainly <laughs> my home state not necessarily where I used to live but they've definitely got some snow in the past couple days so that's all I got Y'all keep her smoky and always enjoy.